Hi, I'm Ophelia Jacobson with Campus Reform. Over the past couple of weeks, we've seen politicians call on Joe Biden to cancel student loan debt. We're asking students at the University of Florida if they think this is a good idea and if they know how much it would cost. Plus, are they willing to sign this pledge to contribute their own money to pay the bill? According to Brookings Institute, 42 million Americans have student loans, which is about 12% of the population. And some Democrats like AOC and Elizabeth Warren have been pushing Joe Biden to cancel student loan debt. How do you feel about this? I feel like they're making the right move. Yeah, I agree. I agree with, you know, canceling student loan debt. I do agree with it. I think that, yeah, I mean, it should be um, an executive priority. I think canceling student loan debt would make so many people, like, stress less. I do agree with this. The student loan debt like crisis has gotten like very out of hand in America and there's like a lot of more like advanced democracies out there that are showing progress in lowering the amount of student debt that we have. I would you know support it in general. Do you know how much it would cost to eliminate all student loan debt in this country? Uh, I'm not exactly sure but I do know it costs a lot. I'll say a billion. A couple billion, two billion or so. A hundred million dollars. Forty three billion. Millions. Oh my gosh. Like, maybe in the trillions? Oh, uh, uh, the billion, a billion dollars. So it would cost 1.7 trillion dollars. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot of money. <laughs> wow, okay. That's crazy. That's, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It is a little bit high. Where do you think this money would come from? Probably maybe getting higher taxes. Of course, military spending. Uh... I mean, presumably just from the government's budget. Pulling from other things that may not be necessary. I know that there's a lot of pushes to tax the rich more, and I do think that that's just one resource that we haven't been using. I, that, that's the thing, I don't, I don't know all that. Definitely the police force could be um, defunded a little bit, and that money could be allocated towards um, kind of bringing down that student loan. Taxes. Um, taxes, honestly. Uh, I, I fully support um, increasing taxes just for um, everyone's benefit. We're going around with pledges today. Uh, there's 328 million people in this country. You take 1.7 trillion divided by 328.2 and you get around 5,183. So if everyone were to pay that amount, we'd be able to cancel student loan debt for all. Are you willing to pledge to pay your share today? Mm. Boy, let me think. <laughs> I don't know if $5,000, but I'll donate some. I just don't have $5,000 right now. Depends when I have to pay the money, because I definitely don't have $5,000. I don't have any, and I'm not going to have any student loans, because I have uh, college savings that we, me and my family have been saving for years. Um, I probably have to think about it. I don't know if I could do it, like day of. No, because I have tons of student loan debt myself, but I mean the top 1% could end world hunger, so. I could probably do like five, ten dollar donation, divide that over a couple years and I could probably pull it off. Um, I'd love to. I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. My mom has really big student loans that are a lot more than five thousand dollars. Everyone has their choice to go to different schools. Some people choose to go to a cheaper school to avoid student loan debt, and other people choose to go to a more expensive school. So do you think it's fair for the people who chose to go to a cheaper school to make them pay for the debt of others? I mean, it's a little bit difficult just because um, I know at the end of the day, the argument is going to boil down to it wasn't my personal choice. That's not like how tax brackets work, really. <laughs> like that, like it would be adjusted based on income. That's kind of a loaded question right there. I mean, I suppose it could be something that might be worth opting into. I think it's something that we can kind of just give up right now so in the future things can be more equal. No, but I understand like needing the money to come from somewhere. So. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I guess it, it isn't really fair for them to have to pay for that. Yeah, that's, I think that's where I would start to have an issue with it. No, because then I would choose to have gone out of state and not gone here instead. So that's just not really fair for me to have to pay for other people's decisions.
Hey there, my name is Hannah Catherine Smith and I'm with Campus Reform. To continue seeing videos like these, be sure to subscribe here. And if you're interested in becoming a member of the Campus Reform team as an investigator or a correspondent, you can join the team here. And if you'd like to help us continue making videos like these, donate here.